Okay. Jupiter Hell. Trial 0.9.12 beta. This uh, comes out fully on the 5th as well. So let's jump in. As this is your first time playing Jupiter Hell, we'll guide you through a short tutorial. This will take a couple of minutes to introduce the turn-based, grid-based nature of the game. Control is the primary ba basic strategy. Welcome to Jupiter Hell. This is a turn-based, grid-based, permadeath dungeon crawling game, a classic roguelike. The focus in this game, however, is on ranged combat. We'll walk you through an introductory level, then you can jump right in. Be aware this is a keyboard or gamepad only game, so put away the mouse. You can only move in the four cardinal directions. If you press directions fast enough, it may seem the character is moving diagonally, but in reality, that's two moves blended to speed up play. Note the minimap and level name in the top left corner. Corner, rather. Your character's stats are in the bottom left. Enemy spotted. His stats appear at the top right. Take special note of the chance you have to hit him. However, Jupiter Hell is a game of tactical positioning. Move right so you can lean from around the corner. Follow the highlighted squares using the arrow. Now you're behind cover. Note there is a green indicator to the right of your character, signifying that fact. Green is cover. Red, if present, is enemy cover. Both appear only if the enemy is targeted. Now you can shoot him. Press F to shoot the currently the currently targeted enemy. If you can see him, you can shoot him. Press F to fire. You fire your current weapon at the uh, you fire your current weapon at the currently selected target. See reticle around enemy. F to fire again. You use two bullets, better reload, press R. He dropped some stuff, pistol and some ammo, move to pick it up. G? Before you can pick it up, you can get a free peek. Hold shift to compare with the item on the ground with the one held. Camera is going to be covering shit. Hopefully, that's like decent or something. Oh, uh, yeah, that's better. Uh, four, six. Uh, the exact same. Items such as medkits are not used instantly, but stored. Enter inventory, then medkit, and hit enter. That ain't the spot. This guy has a shotgun fired at him, so we can relieve him of it. The direction you and they're facing don't matter. <laughs> Wow, that shot really hurt. If you look at your status bar on the bottom, you see you have significant pain modifier. It directly affects your chance to hit. Luckily, you're a Marine and you have an active skill that can help. Adrenaline can be used as long as you have enough fury and it heals a bit. Converts a portion of any pain value to health. Also, using the skill doesn't take time, so you can safely use it in the middle of combat. Green regains his class resources by killing enemies. Press 5 is indicated near the scale to activate it. Okay. There are enemies here. The shotgun will help. Notice that by holding shift, you can stand a weapon. You can compare it to stats you currently have. Shred them to pieces. It's empty. You need to pick up the shells. Hold the gun. 
Now that was satisfying. Shotgun steel area damage. You can get multiple kills with a single shot. Don't forget to reload. The shotgun is nice. Let's switch again to the pistol. You can carry up to three weapons. The scene on the bar, the bottom right. Press one to switch back to the pistol. You're hurt. Luckily, Marines start with an extra med kit. So here. That's better. Let's go to the next room. Why not blow up the barrels? Manual targeting. Manual targeting. Hit that. Press T again. Okay. Barrels do more damage than a pistol shot. It's worth using your environment. Let's continue the next room. Don't seem to have a sure shot on this ugly guy. You're behind cover, so you can try to wait and see what happens. Press W to wait. He didn't move closer to but things are good. Two buffs you received, Hunker, which further decreases your chance to be hit and possibly the reason he missed. And Aim, which you receive by waiting while having an enemy targeted, which increase your odds to sign hit significantly so fire. <clears throat> After shooting, your buffs are gone since both of them apply only in one turn. You can increase their value further subsequent waiting. He's almost dead. Try finishing him off. Someone spotted you grabbing your sweet loot. No worries. You can use items directly from the ground by holding shift and pressing G. We're done here. For the sake of introducing you to the equipment screen, why don't you leave your shotgun here? Enter the inventory screen, use the arrows to navigate between panels. When you find the equipment panel, highlight the shotgun and press D to drop it. Head upwards to finish. Okay. Congratulations on finishing the tutorial. You can start a new game and see how you fare in real combat. Remember, the game's turn-based. No need to rush. Facing doesn't matter, neither for you nor the enemies. Movement is only in four directions. Uh, you will level up and gain traits. Pick a master trait at the bottom and work towards getting it as soon as possible. Try to keep behind cover. Note the enemy cover. If they're in cover, it's best to break line of sight and make them pursue you. Okay. Uh regular game recommended for players with turn-based no turn-based roguelike experience reduce enemy danger level less enemies and special levels enemy cover is half as effective minus 20 percent enemy accuracy this is normal enemy danger oh you can't even do the ultra violence or nightmare we're gonna go medium but let's see what this says increase enemy count and danger level let's just go medium we have three classes. We have the Marine, Scout, and Technician. Marines are the backbone of Jogisek, Resilient, and Hardy. Resource Fury is a Marine's class resource. It regenerates with kills. Passive. Each time you enter a new level. Well, there's the small penis game again. Outside. Loud pieces of shit. Passive. Each time you enter a new level, you automatically heal 10% of max health. Active. For 30 points of fury, you may channel your adrenaline. Heal a bit. Convert one quarter of your pain modifier to health and protect yourself from pain for five seconds. Gear. Marines start with a small med kit. Scouts are masters of stealth, have the best intel. Resource scouts utilize energy as a class resource that regenerates when opening new chests and can overflow until you leave a level. Passive. Scouting ahead has revealed scouting ahead has revealed the location of all the regular elevators. Branch connections and the special levels are still hidden. You only have two weapon slots. Active. For 30 for 25 energy, you can activate stealth and go invisible for a few turns. Or until you attack, you gain a hundred percent crit chance while stealth. Gear. Scouts start with a revolver and 44 ammo. Technician. Technicians are masters of equipment and tinkering. Techs utilize power as a class resource. It regenerates by picking power orbs dropped by mechanical and semi-mechanical enemies. It can overflow until you leave a level. Techs use any consumable, including grenades, twice as fast. 
Uh, for a difficulty dependent amount of power, you can activate a smoke screen that will block sight around you. Uh, you can dismantle a modded item to randomly get back one of its mods. Detect start with three multi tools. Let's just start with a marine. I don't like the looks of this. You come back from a routine patrol from the Callisto orbit. Your landing craft gets shot down by an automated defense system. Something is wrong. Red key card with black stripe, not edible. Useless. Pipe wrench, melee damage. Guns are for wusses. Jupiter health. That guy has a shield or something. It is. Okay. These are shoddies. No, these are pistols. Uh, same shit. What is this? The revolver. Bang, bang. This is some sweet metal. I was definitely sold this game under the pretense that this is roguelike doom. I have to say I'm not disappointed so far. I think that was a pretty apt description. Pick a trait. Son of a gun. Okay, what do we want? Onslaught, master trait. I don't like things that are gun specific necessarily, but these are all gun specific, aren't they? Wait, master trait can't die unless below certain health at the start of turn. You refuse to die. You literally can't die unless you start your turn below 25 health. And if no enemies are in sight, you'll regenerate up to 25% health. Additionally, you gain critical chance uh, bonus equal to your missing health percentage. So for that, we need Angry Motherfucker 1, Tough as Nails 1, and Level 8. So what do we need for Angry Motherfucker? We need Hellrunner. Spot. 12 gauge and a combat knife. Shred them to pieces. I 
actually make that my number one. Make the shoddy my three. And the nine millimeter my number two. Okay, there we go. something here. Oh, 44 ammo. Shit, maybe I should take the 44. No. Nah, Keep the pistol. Basic helmet. Mama always Smart. told me to use protection. Oh yeah, you're right. It is cut off around the edge. Oh, yeah, that I know. I hold on. Dang, that just made me fix it. I'm using mouse. Um, well, mouse and keyboard, but keyboard. There is no mouse use at all in this game. Jovasek Hello System. Access Security. Disable Drones for Multi Tools. I can't do anything about this. Access Recon. Reveal Map. I don't think I have any multi tools at all. Oliver Pierce, Bailey, boss. I understand Austin had a rough time in the army. We need to cut him a little slack. I can imagine that him stealing my lunch and feeding it to the cockroaches might be cute in someone's eyes, but now he brought a fucking bald dog to come live in our workshop in class in Callisto Mines L2. God knows where he took it from. That bastard howls all day long and reeks of dead fish and shits in my shoes. Boss, I swear, either you tell him or I'm gonna strangle one of them and feed it to the other. The vault room in Callisto level 6 seen some suspicious activity. We're waiting for a specialist team to investigate the place. The vault is only unlockable by senior staff through the terminal. I advise you to stay away from its vicinity for your safety. Whomever might concern, Callisto Rift is now restricted. No entry possible without red access clearance. Supervisor Smith, next shipment of assets arrives in around three months. Nothing we can do to cut that day. We're sorry for the loss of the 4th Division, but until new assets are delivered, you'll have to make do with what's available, Major Allen.
load already. Oh, fuck me. Okay. Knife works pretty good. I have to say. sure these are all just nine millimeter pistols except there's a shoddy here but i already have one i should use a shoddy that would have been actually a good shotgun room. probably should have used it there That auto rifle is very good. Out of ammo, reload. Hello. Okay. So now we can get angry motherfucker. If someone hurts you, you hurt them right back. You, your damage output is increased proportionally to your missing health. What else do I? Survivor is what I want, right? Tough as nails as well. Okay, I can get this right away. Pain is for wussies. Your skin is so tough. Each level of this trait provides one point of natural armor against all damage. Let's do angry motherfucker. Ben, did you play this game? is empty. Yeah, no, I know. Yeah. Okay. Oh, the red key card. SMG. So it uses nine millimeter. I'm gonna just not bother. I want to keep my auto rifle. See you in hell, bastards.
That is a lot of guns hanging around on the ground there. I just want to make sure nothing's down this corridor. Alright, we're done here. Oh my god, this music. A hunter's rifle. play too much of it so the reason i'm playing it is i was actually give i asked for a code for this like a year ago uh and i was given one because it's coming out in a couple days Hello. finally getting able finally able to check it out not enough fury oh yeah i'm out of fury there or something real pain in the ass I do like this auto rifle it's fucking locked do I need like a pink key card or something Expecting to be shot at or something. Can't open. Yes. Actually, here maybe. That's where I came from. I probably have to go where that turret was uh, messing me up. Oh, I haven't checked the bottom right, actually. Probably have to go that way. Can you get... Oh, these are all new. Okay. From Noah Robinson to William Williams. All went according to plan. I took the night shift. Got the key card from Riley with some bullshit excuse. Nobody's showing up tomorrow at Callisto Rift L1 workshop. You'll have enough time to pick what's valuable in there. Leaving it open for the night. Let me know what you got so I can start talking to the fence. Call me your pimp fin. I got access to the terminal that controls the entrance to the vault in Mir Mirror. The Mir Habitat L1. It's gonna be us who gives orders on that shithole. Just make sure we got enough pocket. You got enough pockets in your greens so we can carry it all out. Today I worked at the mine, same as yesterday, same as the day before, same as every fucking day for the past couple of years. Physician told me to write this stupid journal, it doesn't fucking help. Captain Green, the chip system is flawless, the assets won't the assets won't riot. If you can identify any individuals that have such ideas, you should send them for a full medical, Major Allen. Major Allen's a real piece of shit. Ugh. 
so thirsty. Pretty cool that you can just kick down the no room. piles there. Is that ammo? 762 ammo. Holy shit, that thing went invisible? Damn. Level 3 Marine killed on Callisto level 3 by Cal 6 Sentry. Survived for 1,026 turns. Runtime was 20 minutes. World Seed was 4181. Scored 248 points. Took medium risks. Oh, I was at 6 health. I see. I wasn't paying attention to my health like at all. 48 out of 56 enemies, 21 grunts, 4 soldiers, 3 sergeants, 5 guards, 8 drones, 3 fiends, 3 fire fiends, and Calisex entry. This game's cool. This is a really cool game. Uh, yeah. Jupiter Hell. Check it out. Runs for getting it. 